This video continues on from my previous video that just went over kind of generally what is an object and how to make a class diagram to organize your thoughts. Where we left off was this simple example of an animal object, which is the parent, and we have dog and bird that will inherit from animal. So if you notice, there are three attributes that animal has, animal type, sound, and movement type and two methods, move and make sound. Now because dog is inheriting from animal, it then also has all of these attributes and these two methods available to it, even though it's not listed in itself. And then the dog has unique attribute and method of fur color and it can wag a tail. And a bird also has all of the things that an animal has, but it also can lay an egg. And so let's jump over into Unity and C Sharp and implement this. Okay, so I've got Unity started up, but let's take a look at our diagram one more time because the good thing about creating that is it pretty much outlines what we need to make in code. Okay, so for looking at this, we're gonna be making three classes. Each one of these is going to be its own file. And let's start with the animal class. So for the animal class, we'll need three attributes and two methods. So in Unity, I'm going to right click and create a C Sharp script, and I'm gonna call that animal. And going into the script, Unity puts in a bunch of extra stuff that we don't need at this time. So I'm gonna be deleting away the start and update methods, and I'm going to also remove the part that says animal is inheriting from mono behavior. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. So it should just say public class animal. Now in here, I can just go ahead and set up my attributes. So to keep this simple, today I'm just gonna be making everything public. So I'm gonna say public, I need a string and that will hold the sound. I'm gonna have a string called movement type. And a string called animal type. Now I also need two methods. I will have one called move. And one called make sound. Now, like I said, when I make my dog object, it will have all of these accessible to it if it inherits from animal. Let's put something basic in here. I'm just gonna be writing to the console. So for make sound, for instance, I'll have it say the, whatever the animal type is, says whatever the sound is. So it could be the dog says woof. And for move, I'll have it say the, for instance, dog is whatever I set for the movement type, like running. So notice this is pretty generic because if I have a bird object, it could be the bird is flying. So I'm saving this. Let's go ahead and make a dog object that inherits from this and show how this works. So I go back to Unity, make a new script, and I'm gonna call this dog. Once again, Unity puts in a bunch of extra stuff and I'm gonna get rid of this start and update for now. But instead of having the class dog inherit from mana behavior, I want it to inherit from animal. So that means I can access sound and movement type and also things like the method move. Now let's not worry about fur color just yet, but let's think about the attributes that animal has. We need to set that up if we make a new dog. So what I'm gonna do is set up a default constructor. And to do that, I'm just gonna say public dog, and the constructor needs to be the same name as the class I'm making. And a constructor looks a lot like a method. And so when I make a brand new dog object, it will run this. 
And there I can set up things like sound. And notice when I type sound, it comes up because it is inheriting from animal. And I can set the sound equal to woof. And I can set the movement type to, let's say, running. And the animal type, I'll just set that to dog. So at this point, notice I don't have this declared anywhere except in animal. And because I'm inheriting, it's fine. And notice I also don't have a move or a make sound method. It's all in animal. But let's try this out and see it in action. To do that, I need to make another class. And I'm just going to call this controller because I'm just going to run things from it. And I'm going to make a new game object, calling it script. And I'm going to attach my controller to the script. Now, since the controller is interacting with Unity, I'm just going to still have it inherit from mono behavior. And I'm going to keep the start. I, mean, I don't need update. So in start, let's make a new dog. And to do that, I'll say dog, which is the object type. And I can call it anything. Let's call it my dog. And I'm going to say it's a new dog. Now that this object is created, I can refer to it as my dog. And I can run the available methods. So when I hit my dog dot, Notice that I can access its animal type, its movement type, its sound, but I can also have it move or make sound. So let's say I want to have my dog make sound. And let's also go ahead and say my dog dot move. So I'm going to save this. When I run this, it should then run the methods in animal move and make sound. So I'm over in Unity. My script is attached to this script object, my controller script, and I'm going to hit play. And in the console, it says, the dog says woof, the dog is running. So let's add on to dog. Let's give it its own method. Let's add in wag tail. So now in the controller, I can also have the dog wag tail. And if I run it, it now says the dog is wagging its tail. So make sound and move are methods that come from animal. And wag tail is a method that comes from dog. And I can access all of those things because dog inherits from animal. Now let's add one other animal type, and that's a bird. So back in Unity, let's add a new class. I'll call this bird. And same sort of thing. I'm going to remove this stuff. And instead of inheriting from mono behavior, I'm going to have it inherit from animal. Now, I need a constructor similar to the dog. In fact, I can go over here and copy that. But I need this to be called bird. And I need to set up the sound. Let's say the sound is chirp. The movement type, how about flying? And the animal type, bird. So now the information for bird is different than the information for dog. If I hit save and I go to the controller, let's go ahead and make a bird object. So I'm making a bird object called the bird, and it's a new bird. And I can do the same things like to the dog. I can say the bird 
dot make sound and so it has access to that I can have the bird move but I can't have the bird wag tail because wag tail is part of the dog object not the animal object or the bird object so notice it's giving me an error so let's get rid of that for now and I'm going to save this and let's run it. So now we have the dog says woof, the dog's running, the dog's wagging its tail, and now the bird says chirp, the bird is flying. Now back to the bird, I can make a method that just the bird has. And I can have it lay an egg. So I'll save that. Let's jump over to the controller and have the bird lay an egg. So save that and let's run it in Unity. So now we've got the dog saying woof, it's running, it's wagging its tail, and the bird says chirp, it's flying and laying an egg. Now this is setting up a very basic inheritance setup. And notice every dog is going to be the same. Also, I didn't set up fur color. Let's put that in. So I've got fur color, and then I would need to add that to my constructor. Let's make brown the default. Now what I could do is set up a custom constructor. So this is the default constructor. And I can allow, let's say, the person to change, how about the animal type? And so like I could say the breed, for instance, and let's let the person specify the fur color. I'm going to go ahead and copy this over. And in this custom constructor, I'm just changing a couple of specific things. So let's say sound stays the same, movement types the same, but animal type I'm going to set it to whatever I passed in. And same thing with fur color. And to get fur color actually in the mix, how about I'm going to make another method. I don't have that in my class diagram, but I'll just add that here. How about I'll have it display breed. And so here I'll say the dog is a, it could be like a tan corgi, for instance. So let's go over into the controller, and instead of a generic dog, let's say I'm going to have a dog. I'll say it's his dog equals new dog. And then in the parentheses, I'll add in my custom values. So, so in my custom constructor, I have animal type and fur color. So... Let's say the first one, let's say it's a corgi, and it is tan. And how about his dog, I'll say display breed, and his dog dot, let's say move, wagtail. So let's try that out. So now it says the dog is a tan corgi, the corgi is running, the dog is wagging its tail. So while a custom constructor isn't specifically about inheritance, it is a nice way to be able to make different objects easily. So we could make a lab that's black and easily have different dog objects. So anyway, this is my brief overview of object inheritance.